I'm Commander Rylan, my lord. I apologize for my abruptness, but I'm afraid I must request assistance with an emergency. Something is stirring up the jungle beasts, which makes the route between here and Kaas City hazardous. Several individuals traveling on foot have disappeared. I've even had reports of jungle beasts attacking speeders. I fail to see how this is my problem, Commander. My lord, the situation is more complex than a few hungry predators. Permit me to explain. I dispatched two commando teams into the jungle to clear out the beasts, but they never returned. An emergency hollow message came through from one of the team leaders. I'll play it for you. Repeat. Landing beacons are emitting some kind of energy. Power surges are driving the beasts mad. Can't get close enough to reroute power. Lost my team. Beasts closing in. Need reinforced. The sensors confirm unusual energy readings in the jungle. The spaceport's landing beacons appear to be the cause. How could landing beacons affect the creatures? If a beacon's energy signature has been altered, the sonic frequency could be extremely disruptive to a creature's nervous system. I hesitate to ask, my lord, but if you reroute power on those landing beacons, the Empire will be most grateful. I'll track your progress from here. Return when you're done. Good luck. The jungle predators are fierce. Welcome back, my lord. Sensors indicate you rerouted power to all the landing beacons. Analysis indicates they were deliberately sabotaged to drive the jungle beasts insane. I am transmitting a full report to Kaas City. Please accept this and my deepest gratitude, my lord. I bid you good day. A guard post in the jungle. Keeping something out or in? Out, my lord. When the speeders were pulled off the line, people started braving the deeper jungle, trying to make it to Cass City on foot. Had a few deaths, some of them VIPs. Captain Tolto sent us to keep people out and poke around a bit, see what's out there. If someone is stupid enough to wander the jungles, they deserve what they get. As you say, my lord, of course. But we follow the orders we get. We managed to take some data readings, even some hollows. Big nasty critters out there, nothing to mess with. Our runner, unfortunately, is down a leg from the experience. If you're headed back towards the spaceport, could you give the observation disk to Captain Tolto? I suppose I have the time. Appreciate it. The sooner he knows what's going on, the sooner we can warn people. I have a report for you, Captain. It seems there are monsters in the jungle. Thank you, my lord. 
You do us all a great honor by taking notice of our problems. This is what I needed. I'll start moving to warn everyone off that path until we can get some full cleanup squads. Jeliska Changa, Waning Chinkuspa, Ineguda, eh? Naka noya Chorsky, noya Kachuso de Mate Chichoya. Ukili, Baklunkina at the Bumpa, Bushuda. What you got in mind? Naka noya Chorsky, noya Kachuso de Mate Chichoya. Chupolo, I won a copo tomte tak, Makechisa. Kiko Ubakili, Wata Bunga Dunko, Putoga Wata. What's in it for me? Mi umpi putamala, Bedwana Nibochi Chichupa Kumba. Mesupuda Nupa Junki, Faguta Ji Uta Vukise. You got yourself a deal. Chiho Lukuta, Chubu Ikatsfu, Undole. Bafu Pagi Wanta Humpa, Muli Rabamba Hula. Bureaucrats, let them come here and do my job for a while. You're a hunter, right? You look like one anyway. I'm Sergeant Mole Carrots, 3rd Recon Company. Are you here about the bounty on the jungle predators? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm always for hire. Well, I guess it's lucky you happen to wander through here. I've been in charge of protecting the slaves from predators since my superior was gored by one. There are too many beasts for us to handle. I requested assistance from Cass City, but all they did was put a bounty on the jungle creatures, which hasn't helped us at all. Why not, exactly? The only people who responded to the bounty were a pair of Mandalorians who promptly got themselves eaten. Poor slaves, I hear their screams when the creatures drag them away. 
Even off-worlders don't deserve to die like that. If you could thin out the Predator population, it would make a huge difference for us. Be seeing you. If you kill the jungle Predators, take the proof to Administrator Reese in custody. She's paying the bounties on them. that disgusting stench oh by the stars what are you doing with all those rotting animal parts is this some sick joke what the blazes is going on why would you bring all these carcasses into my office you asked for jungle predators i'm delivering them we asked for proof not a slaughterhouse really you hunters are simply uncouth the Empire is, um, grateful for the extraordinary lengths you went to. Enjoy your reward. I'll take these beast parts and put them anywhere but here. Thank you for your help. Sorry, Lord. I would find the supervisor for you, but talking to those spacers has already put me behind schedule. Ugh. That crew just wouldn't leave. They kept asking for supplies. Do I look like a quartermaster? You're a friendly one, aren't you? I'm sorry, my lord, but those people would have tested even a Sith's great patience. I sent them to the next camp over. Director Nashal there loves boasting about their superior equipment so he can share it. I can give you the camp's location if you like. Somebody needs to find out what's going on here. There. It's not far. Hopefully you'll catch them before they leave. Finally, somebody armed. I couldn't do anything. It was a group of spacers. We were helping them and they attacked us. I ran in here when they shot the shell, but I heard them talking. I think they're Republic spies. Just tell me where these Republic agents went. 
They ransacked the camp for supplies and uniforms, even stole identification off each body. Then they found one of our maps. We'd located in a hidden cave at the bottom of the waterfall nearby. They could regroup there and shoot anyone who gets close. Murder and mayhem await. We need our uniforms and IDs back. Our supplies reclaimed and those spies destroyed. Please. The security of the Empire is at risk. supplies. And the uniforms too. I thought it would take a whole platoon to handle those infiltrators. There was much bloodshed. Still, it couldn't have been easy. Thank you. Finally, someone who can keep their head in a crisis. Rebel slaves hit my team in the jungle. They stole weapons, supplies. As if that wasn't bad enough, the idiots ransacked our spires for parts. Without those components, we've got a lightning spire building up dangerous energy levels. It'll crater half of Car City if it blows. How long until the spire explodes? I can't say for sure. We should have at least enough time to avert the disaster. Most of my men ran off. Some tried to reclaim the spire parts, but the rebels cut them down. I came back here for reinforcements. We need to recover the components the rebels stole and get that lightning spire back online before it goes critical. The rebel scum will wish they'd never touch the spires. Excellent. I'll hold off raising the alarm for a while longer. 
The rebels are camped along the river. Blast them down, pry the stolen components from their hands, and then reinstall them at the spire. If the river runs red with rebel blood, I'll throw in something extra. Towers ought to be towering. I approve. Better check if they're on my parts. I replaced the Spire components. I was just about to call in evacuation orders for the city. Well done. The rebel slaves will think twice before tampering with Imperial property again. A second of your time, please. Mind a 20. Imperial intelligence. I'm assuming you have Keeper's clearance to approach me for this. Cleared and processed. No point in dodging procedure. You're a new face on Droman Cast. That presents a unique opportunity and a small window in which to use it. I need you to meet a man. Go where he says and do what he asks. There's little danger. But you must not question him. Brief me and I'll begin right away. The man is named Manda, and he is in a local cantina. Tell him the Lord of Sorrow sent you. Good luck. We will not speak again. The Lord of Sorrow sent me. Listen carefully. I can say this once. A Chiss security officer stands at the bank. Hand him this gambling chip. He will give you a small item and further instructions. Now walk away casually. I have a gambling chip for you. And I have a package for you. Do not open it. Better if you don't even look at it. There is an NK line droid. I'll show you where to find it. The package goes there. Long live the Emperor. I have a package for you. For me? How wonderful. And I, in turn, have something for you to show appreciation. If we have not caught the Republic's attention with this sequence, they simply aren't paying attention. Empire forever. Seven brutal bloody murders. Seven. And the killer is allowed to walk free. Decent, law-abiding citizens, loyal servants of the Emperor, are being slaughtered. And what do our security forces do? Nothing. I've seen the killer myself, but the authorities say I don't have enough proof. I demand justice. Why are you yelling at me? You haven't heard about the horrible murders, ghastly crimes, and I know who committed them. Several days ago, I spotted a bounty hunter following people seemingly at random, but pointing a strange device at them. The descriptions of the murder victims exactly match the people the hunter was following. He's behind these brutal killings, I know it! He needs to be stopped. Well, what a relief. I've been trying to get someone, anyone, to listen to me for days. I followed the killer this morning. Saw the filthy alien skulking into the Mandalorian enclave. 
Someone called him by name, Renegan. This bounty hunter must learn the Empire doesn't tolerate alien scum like him killing its citizens. He needs to be punished. I've got a shuttle to catch. You mind getting out of my way? Fleeing the scene of your crimes, Renegan? Just my luck. Ten seconds later and I would have been off this blasted planet. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. Listen, I didn't murder anybody. I was just hired to tag some random citizens, that's all. You didn't ask why you were hired to tag random people? I got instructions, not explanations. Seemed harmless at the time. I had no idea my clients would kill those people. I was hired by a group of Sith to organize games for them. Didn't realize what that meant until bodies started piling up. When I confronted them, they laughed. Said Sith have a birthright to hunt lowlifes. It's like a sport to them. There's no telling what will give a Sith pleasure. And that's why I'm trying to get as far away from Drummond Koss as possible. I'm in over my head and too many people are watching me now. So I can't even leave. I need help. And I'm willing to pay for it. You interested? Don't drag me into your mess. Clean it up yourself. There's no risk to you, I swear. No way this will come back on you. I'm holding you to that promise. Tell me the plan. I just want this problem to go away. And I only see two ways for that to happen. Either get rid of the loudmouth pointing fingers at me, or end that sick game the Sith are playing. I think your clients need to find a new hobby. Works for me. I'll have a plan that'll get them so good, no one will have to worry about Fallout. Take this hunter tag. Use it on Sith Acolytes all around the city. The Acolytes will become my clients' new targets. Don't worry. I'll make sure they survive. Come back when you're done, and I'll pay you. My clients already ambushed one of the acolytes you tagged. Wish I could have been there. Attacking Sith is a major crime, even for other Sith. I sent the authorities an anonymous tip to watch the acolytes closely. When my clients jumped the ones you tagged, they were arrested and executed. Best work I've done in a long time. Ever consider a career in intelligence work? And give up all this excitement? No thanks. My loudmouth friend ought to shut up, now that the killers have been caught. That should make life easier. Here, take these credits. Couldn't have pulled this off without you. See you around, friend. <laughs> 